If you were smart enough to figure it out, you would have figured it out. I admitted that to myself. Fortunately, early on, I killed my ego and I'm like, I'm too dumb. <laughs> Literally, I'm too dumb. I don't have what it takes. I'm not smart enough. I'm not strong enough. And knowing that, dealing with the truth, I put myself in situations where I made it inevitable. If you aren't dealing with the truth, nothing will change. I tell this to clients as well. I'll tell you when, you when you come tomorrow at the advance. I'm like, who are you? What's going on? Tell me the truth. Don't impress me. Don't put on a front. If you put on a front, we're going to just work on the front. Put the real raw truth out there. That's how you get to work. Do that with yourself. Don't keep putting on a front with yourself. Admit the raw truth to yourself. Even if it is, you know, I don't have what it takes. That's fine. Admitting to yourself you're too weak to do it. You don't have enough energy to do it. Too many excuses. The excuses are too strong. That's totally fine. I had that. You probably heard my story. When I first started working on my social skills, I went out. I couldn't even ask an old person for the time. That was months. And I realized that and I admitted, huh, I guess I can't do this. I don't have what it takes. And I didn't. People don't like this. They, they like the, no matter who you are, you have what it takes. No. But admitting that to myself, then what happened? I went online and I found people who were taking action in that area. And me going out with them, them holding me accountable is what made the difference. That's what allowed me to finally do it. If I didn't do that, I would never have done it on my own. People think, oh, but maybe if you kept going, you'd be frustrated enough. Nah, what happens is you keep going, and if you're already at the bottom, you're not going to get frustrated and move up to anger. You're going to move into grief, become a victim, and then give up. <laughs> it's not that common that someone just keeps going and finally reaches that point where they're like, fuck it, enough. No, they're stuck, like, oh, I'm scared, I'm too scared, I can't, I can't. Anger is very rare. You move down to grief. Like, oh, I'm just a victim. I can't. Oh, and feel sorry for yourself. And then zoom, down. And you're fucked. Sing into this. If you were to coach you, what would you do? You know your excuses. You know what you're going to do. Gun to the head. You know if you're actually going to apply this stuff or not. You know. Don't bullshit yourself. How would you coach you? How would you make it? What situations would you put you in so that you succeed? How would you counter your excuses? It's like playing chess against yourself. Okay, I'm gonna put myself in that situation. But even in that situation, what are the excuses I may have? How am I gonna counter that? How am I gonna counter that? And you just block off all the exits where there's only one, which is winning. Okay, that is a lot of what it takes to succeed. It's inevitability thinking and the right tools in a clear direction.